DEPCONF 19 in your hometown. We all know that uh, by now, well, except for some formalities, DEPCONF is over. I had a, a sad smiley here which failed to appear, which <laughs> tremendously sad to me. UTF 8 is hard. No, it was not even a UTF 8, it's a uh, uh, LATEC. Something happened with LATEC. <laughs> well, and as you know, and uh, somebody is going to present you with uh, much better details, next year we're going to Asia. So, for the first time ever, we will have a DevConf in the Far East, which really, really thrills me. Really, really, really far. Sorry? Really, really far. Really, really far for most of us, not for them, for the first time. Uh, so, they will present next. So, what happens after DevConf 18? Well, there is a process for choosing. Uh, who is the next unlucky winner? <laughs> we should learn at least the basis, uh, uh, the basics of the process, and love the process. <laughs> Believe me, it has helped us so so much. So basically, roughly speaking, uh, at uh, DevConf N minus two, that is right now, some bids will present their offers, and they have still a, a, a few months to prepare to ensure everything's right to even drop out of the, the process if, if they feel they cannot uh, meet the standards or whatever. By December, we expect them to verify whether they are viable and they continue uh, bidding or to say, well, you know, I, bet much, uh, I have much better things to do with my time. So, uh, presenting now is not, uh, an, uh, doesn't uh, force you to go all the way through. It just uh, allows you to show your fellow Debian people well, what you can give them. And uh, well, we, we want to go everywhere, of course. We, of course, we don't want to lose our time. We want uh, presented bits to be real. But, uh, well, I guess some of you remember, yeah, some of you remember the Martinica <laughs> bit. It was beautiful and everybody wanted to go there. Sadly, we don't have any people to show Martinica anymore, but well, anyway. Uh, Sorry? <coughs> Tahiti, yeah, it's always a possibility. <laughs> uh, so, uh, by February or March, the DEPCOF committee will evaluate and talk and have meetings and uh, we will uh, decide who is the unluckiest of them all and uh, choose uh, the, the winning bid. And, well, at the next DEPCOF, the, the, the chosen bid will present as, uh, as will happen in the next presentation. So, what are we looking for? This and many other things, I, I just uh, came up with uh, this short list, but it, uh, some important things uh, we want uh, you to keep in mind. Uh, we want a destination that is good for the project, that is good for Debian. We don't care about the quality of a tourist destination. I mean, well, yeah, we do, but don't uh, let anybody know. It's, uh, the, the sponsors, want, uh, we want to make good use of the sponsor's money. So, we don't care if it's a beautiful tourist destination or just a block of concrete. We, we, we want a place where we can work. Uh, impact in local communities is good, it is, it is desired, but, it, but it's not a deal breaker. An important point is reachability. We have had several DevCops in places that are not exactly easy to reach. It's not impossible to, go, to choose again, of course it's possible, but reachability has a, a, a strong impact on our choice of venue. Then the venue, of course we need places to work, like this auditorium or the others we have here. We need hack clubs, we need a, a good place with a, well, decent conditions, preferably good prices, because we, we have to pay for everything. Accommodation, you have to manage to have hundreds of gigs happily sleeping and uh, trying not to snore on each other. <laughs> so, I could continue talking. There's lots more to the process, but I, I think I, I would bore you and it, it would be a waste of your time. Uh, we have many bids this time. That's, uh, that makes me happy. Uh, I'm asking uh, the bidding uh, teams to make five to ten minutes so we can make some round of, uh, of uh, questions uh, at the end. 
So in no particular order, I decided to sort them by uh, reverse of the country name, by some <laughs> requests uh, that uh, didn't allow me for anything more <laughs> sensible. So anyway, uh, we're going to present Slovakia, Greece, Israel, and Brazil. Uh, so uh, please, Andre, com come on. and things. Um, this is most of it basically. Uh, so uh, there won't be troubles moving around because it's quite quite small. It's not very much like uh, London or Mexico City. <laughs> um, it's got uh, nice streets, uh, parks and other things. Um, pieces of quite interesting architecture. Um, old and uh, New. Uh, it's actually a piece of engineering, but anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, why Bratislava? First of all, it's Europe, unlike most of other bits. Um, actually, it's right in the center of Europe, trademark. Um, there are plenty of airports nearby, uh, including Vienna Airport, Budapest, and a very tiny airport in Brno, which you will unlikely use, but still. Uh, or you can fly to Prague, which is a bit further away, uh, but you probably wouldn't want to, because it's Prague. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, there's an airport right in, in Bratislava, in the city. Uh, so it's about 30 minutes from, from there by, by bus. Uh, well, there are lots of castles. Some of them are, are on the picture, but actually there are more. But uh, it, when I did a search for castles in Bratislava, it was, all of this map was filled um, with, uh, you know, points of interest. Well, some of them in Austria, as you can see, but still. <laughs> they, they're very reachable. Uh, yeah, and there's uh, food. Uh, lots of food, all, all types of food, and uh, obviously beer. Uh, so, there, there are craft breweries in Slovakia, uh, quite, quite a few of them. There's non-craft beer as well, and obviously there's also Czech beer for people who don't like Slo Slovak beer. So, unlike in Czech Republic, they don't get solid beer, but we, we have both. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, we've got public transport. Unfortunately, there's no underground, but there are, as you can see, nice low floor trams and buses and, uh, well, two systems replacing taxis, basically, because the local taxis are unusable. But there's a community run bicycle chain scheme, this one, which maybe we can uh, have some agreement with them so well, that confraternities can use them for free. And, uh, well, actually there's a plan for a commercial one, but, well, who knows how it goes. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, there's a venue which was used by two conferences, which is the uh, Slovak Technical University. This building and that building. Uh, this one is quite new, they built it like five years ago or something. This one is very old, uh, but conferences happened in both of them. This is uh, OSS Weekend Conference, which was in the old building which is still very nice, but fairly old. Uh, you can, you see, you can still hack in there. Uh, and this is a PyCon Slovakia, which was in the, in the modern building, and uh, it's got 
very nice rooms and uh, hallways and uh, lecture theatres. So we can use both, and the, uh, the, the place is walkable, so even if you don't like the conference, you can go to the botanical gardens, which is like across the street, or a zoo, which is across the other street. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be next to giraffes and uh, other things. Badges? I'm not sure they've got badges, but we can check. <laughs> so come to the server. Hello. Hello. Um, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed member of the IBM community, <laughs> allow me to present our bid to for DevConf 19 in Elada, Greece. Um, for, for those who don't know me, my name is Guido and I live in Munich. <laughs> um, the code name is Party in Mykonos. There's, it's not an actual party, it's not in Mykonos, but like, yeah. So, why, why do we do Greece? Well, it has a great community, it has um, uh, four Debian developers, uh, the venues will be free, cheap, amazing, and everything. Uh, at, least, at least that's what the Greeks. Probably, no, that's what I told the Greeks to say. Anyway, um, the food in Greece is amazing. The food is fantastic. Who, who's been to Greece? Yeah, the food, I mean. <laughs> and there's going to be sea and sun and plenty of amenities. Who was we? Uh, I, I will get there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. So we have four Debian developers in Athens, and it's growing. It will be at least nine Debian developers by the time we have the conference. <laughs> Maybe five. <laughs> um, there's a quite active free software community in Athens, and there are friendly companies that employ many of our developers that will express uh, an interest in, in sponsoring this, of course. We have one partner. Now. Uh, the the methods are missing, but the UK developers promise to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at him. There's me, I was passing by, and I'm the only one left at this conference. So yes, I, uh, um, Apollo is on a plane and cannot confirm or deny that I'm doing this. And that he's behind it. Paravoid is now working, but was informed and We'll totally do this. Uh, I, I don't know, Kristen, Chris, Christos, I, so, someone will find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and we have more local team. Uh, Alba and More said that they will be there and they will organize this <laughs> for us. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're to Thank you. So, possible values? <laughs> Might 
not exactly the environment, but I close enough. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying that there are options, but... And uh, we, we have a secret Greek island that we plan to take over for the conference, but we cannot tell you more <laughs> for now. See you? This will be our welcome party. Thank you very much. Close the mic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, please, the, the Israeli local team. Sorry, I didn't say which city, but well, I, I guess you will get to it. Okay, Israelis have uh, working laptops. <laughs> Okay, I'm not so good with presentations and I have not had so much time to, pre to prepare to this, so I'll keep things uh, simple. Uh, first off, uh, who, who, is, who is doing this? Uh, I started with uh, Lior, who you probably all know, from the front desk and me. And uh, we have some other people we've talked with. Um, uh, I've not named names, but it seems that no, not from not anybody you know, but uh, seems that we may have a local team. Of, uh, I'll get to it uh, later. Okay. Uh, no. okay. um, so, now we get to the matter of the city. <laughs> okay, now we get to the matter of the city. Um, it's, it's less of an issue because, as you see, uh, Israel is not so, not so, uh, not so large and uh, most of the people live around uh, Tel Aviv, but getting to any of the other major cities, uh, Jerusalem or Haifa, is not, not that big of an issue. Uh, what we plan on doing is having a, a venue around a, a big university in uh, Tel Aviv or Jerusalem or Haifa, probably, probably Tel Aviv. And uh, this gives us uh, good accommodations, good, uh, good connectivity, good, uh, good location, good location in, in the city. And from there, uh, uh, okay, so um, So, um, I guess we... Okay, uh, uh, if we say... Um, um, if we say, uh, for, for instance, uh, if we take uh, Tel Aviv, uh, and all of that are uh, well well working and all of that uh, plenty plenty of sites to see around and all of that uh, so that's that's it for now
Okay, so we're going to be presenting the Curitiba bit. Uh, just so I know, how many of you have ever been to Brazil? Please raise your hand. And how many of you uh, attended that conf in Porto Alegre in 2004? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, and uh, Argentina, 2008? Okay. Uh, so, oh, the colors are so bad, but... Just so you know. To <laughs> it's a very small country. <laughs> yeah, that is it. So, if you're going to Brazil, probably you're going to take a flight and train it through Sao Paulo, right? But it's going to be like one ticket and you go to Sao Paulo and ride to Curitiba. And Porto Alegre was the place where, where we held DEPCONF 2004. Um, skip. Okay. Uh, so the weather in Curitiba is pretty nice, I guess. The colder you will get on the winter is this, when you get a little frost on the grass in the morning. And that cold will be held if the, in August uh, we're at winter, right? So it's gonna be not so cold and a little, a little heated, yeah. It's a nice weather, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Devon community in Brazil is growing pretty fast. Last year, we held the first mini DevConf in Curitiba, and this was the people who were there. Uh, and then we also had uh, the Debian Ruby Sprint in 2016. And this was the DevConf 2017. Um, Lots of people there, right? So, we have lots of local communities. Uh, we have a hackerspace, some women in tech groups, a Python group, Ruby group, PHP, WordPress. Getting a visa to Brazil is also required for most of the countries. Uh, South American citizens won't need, and US and Canada will need. <laughs> Yeah, the local team is these people. Most of them live in Curitiba. Uh, I counted there's 11 people here. Eight people of these live in Curitiba. Oh, we have uh, lots of possible venues. Uh, UTFPR, UFPR, and PUCPR are universities. Also, UFPR is the official Brazilian mirror from Debian, ftp.br.debian.org. And this is the UTFPR main entrance, but we also are, were thinking about hosting on hotels because we wouldn't have accommodation and people would have to stay at the hotels and maybe why not uh, hold that a conf inside the hotel too. Oh, Curitiba doesn't have uh, metro stations, but the public transport is considered one of the best not one of the best, it's considered the best in Brazil. And we have like two types of buses, the normal buses, the direct lines, and we have the express buses. The ex so the express buses run on BRT, the bus rapid transit, that are these big things and they are pretty fast and always on time. And by the way, this is my, pref my <laughs> preferred bus line in Curitiba. It's 666 New World. It's the, the best bus line in the world. <laughs> so Curitiba also has lots of places to visit. This is, the, this is the Wire Opera House. And sometimes there are shows in there. And, but most of the time you can go there and visit. There are so many animals and stuff. And we also have the Museum of Oscar Niemeyer, which is a famous architect, architect. And on the back of this museum, there's a pretty nice place with grass and 
people are, it's pretty common to people to go there on the weekends and have a picnic and walk their dogs, so it's a pretty nice place. We also have a pretty rich wide range of, of food stuff, and this is a feijoada, but it, it's got meat, but we also have we also have lots of vegetarian options in Curitiba and good ones. And the drinks are somewhat famous too. Uh, how many of you how many of you have, have ever drink caipirinha? Oh well yeah. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of caipirinha in Curitiba. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lots of of uh, uh, juices too. <laughs> So, uh, th there's, th there's lots of things to do in Curitiba. This is Adriana, one of the local team members, and he's attending one of the free yoga classes that are held pretty common, pretty frequently in the Botanical, Botanical Garden. Oh, we, and also it has been more than 10 years that we don't have a, a DevConf in Brazil. And how, how, many, how many years in South America? Eight, nine years uh, since we don't have any. Oh yeah, in in Argentina, right? Yeah, so I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we still have uh, time for a couple of uh, questions. So please, uh, one one uh, one person from each of those uh, great. Uh, Great uh, teams come uh, come here to, to answer the questions. We only have one audience microphone over there, so if, uh, what? you know you know how to work this. Have you got prices for accommodation yet? Uh, well, uh, speaking of Bratislava, I think as this is a university, though, pretty lot of dormitories, so I haven't yet found out whether we can secure them for, for this time, but given it's uh, summer in Europe, <laughs> when uh, the conf will happen, so I suppose most of the students will be away, so I think it shouldn't be a big difficulty. And, uh, well... Sorry, could you repeat the question? Yes, so, um, have you looked at the accommodation available and what sort of prices it's going to be? So, background information on this, we've tried to look at DevConf in Cambridge quite a bit and it's killed it every time. Are you saying bad because of, of the distance between things and the event? No, how much is the accommodation and can you get it for 500 people or 400 people? I will just add, uh, so uh, speaking of Brussels, the student accommodation which probably will be able, available and the hotels and hostels are not very expensive, which is big as well. It, yeah, so. Okay, so, so it's, gonna be, it's not going to be so expensive because of the, 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 the currency between the reais, Brazilian money and the dollars. And the venue is going to be very cheap, probably, because we have uh, public universities, uh, with FPR and UFPR, and I think that's it. Yeah, $25 per person on the last bid. We also, we were running together with Taiwan, so our bids online on the wiki page, you can see there all the details. We will have amazing accommodation for perfectly <laughs> <laughs> affordable prices. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've been in touch with several uh, locations. There seem to be accommodation, but uh, seem to be, uh, 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 but uh, we've not discussed uh, pricing yet. More questions? Okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andy.
specifically for Israel, visas. Well, <laughs> say again. <laughs> uh, okay, I have not yet looked into it. I still need to look into it. Could you comment about the crime level of your cities? <laughs> Bombing or all the time? Well, uh, I doubt there's... Well, everywhere there's some crime, but well, I haven't heard of any crime abroad so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's fairly safe. Well, no, it's definitely not more dangerous than Vienna or Prague or... Well, I think it's actually more safe than Prague. Because, well... <laughs> so, uh, I think, just like almost all cities, there has, we have like dangerous places, but the places where we are planning to uh, host EPCONF, the venues and the hotels are, are safe to go. I, uh, if we pick a Greek island, the whole island will be safe to go. <laughs> if we pick Athens, the whole Athens will be safe to go. And go of course, <laughs> being a big city, you can expect the normal level of uh, big city. Small city. Small, right? It will depend on venues and other characteristics, but yes. On, on an island, I'm pretty sure there will be like a couple of fishermen, a couple of restaurateurs, and Maybe two tourists and that's it, and again developers. <laughs> um, generally safe, again, not re relatively low uh, crime level. Uh, for the Greek delegation, I recommend chartering a pirate galleon with free accommodations above decks during storms. We will definitely look into that, thank you. tempted to say uh, to Vienna <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in fact we've got lots of things to see in Bratislava itself and around it like the well mountains hills lots of places for hiking uh, well castles, castles yeah <laughs> well, uh, well lots of castles some of them in Austria but uh, never mind <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah there are lots of like, uh, things to see so We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out and, well, well uh, at, at least, but, but, well, anyway, at least zoo and but, 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 uh, botanical gardens, yeah. So we can go to the uh, botanical garden, that was the, the place where the Ruby Springs photo. We can go to like the White Opera Ram, or White, uh, the Wire Opera House, and the Museum of Carney Meyer would be a nice place. But Curitiba is also close to the beach, right? So one of the, the, the options would be to take a train ride that is, is, is a tourist, uh, is a tourist uh, attraction, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and that train ride goes directly to the beach, then you go there, eat the, their traditional food, and come back. There are various options. We can ascend Mount Olympus and dine with the gods. Uh, <laughs> and that's just an example, I mean, then there will be a lot more up, up to this level. <laughs> mm, I, again, too, too many to choose from, and I guess this applies to basically anywhere, but I can think of, I can easily think of five or six options in, in Jerusalem alone. Okay, to all of you, 
as a Debbie Kong 18 Oga team, how many of you would like to come to Taiwan next year? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, sure. Me and the Greek local team will be glad to be in Taiwan. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I would like to ask you this question. Who among you is uh, willing to commit to become an organization team for the COP18? Because you have to learn it. <laughs> oh, well, obviously. Because, yeah, uh, if, if I'm going to organize a dev conf in my city, yeah, I need to figure out how, how it's actually done. <laughs> yeah, even though yeah, there are two teams in Bratislava which are organized conferences and can, uh, can be involved, yeah, but it's quite different. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm a student, so if I, if I get personally, I would definitely help, right? But uh, that's it. I fully commit the pattern and fight on to do it. <laughs> yeah, I figure it could help. <laughs> All right, um, if you were to compare your country, honestly, to other countries in the world in terms of internet reliability and speed, <laughs> uh, what would we we'd expect for the conference? We have internet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, well, I, I think we can provide the bandwidth we need. Well, at least the university will certainly be able to. Well, if not, well, I, I think we, we can get some uh, other options. So, uh, in Curitiba, on the, the, the central the region, it's pretty common to have a uh, 100 megabits uh, connection. So, the venues will have like 100. Yeah, it, it's not like the best in the world, but, but it's, it's good enough to work. And the venue, will, the venue will, will certainly have more than this, like uh, a gigabit or two. Or we expect to have good internet. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, Greece is well connected. It's part of... Hmm? The super secret island of Mega, we'll see. <laughs> it, it is under investigation right now. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you more or it would have to kill you. <laughs> okay, uh, the international connection of Israel actually happens to go through Greece. <laughs> We promise not to interrupt Israel international connection should we not win this bit. But, yeah, but seriously, uh, reasonable, uh, reasonably good uh, inter uh, internet connection. Not worth saying, really, at least. <laughs> what would you say regarding uh, contacting local companies for sponsorship? Uh, do you have anything in mind? Uh, how viable do you think it is? Uh, I haven't thought of, well, uh, specific examples, but I have a couple of companies in mind which I will contact definitely. Well, that's it. Oh, we have a list of possible uh, sponsors on the bid, and it was like, I don't remember the exact number, but it was more than 20 companies. And th there, are, there are lots of companies which we can ask for sponsor. We have at least more than one company that we will contact. Uh, WN developers work for different companies that could be interested. Uh, I organized a previous conference in Greece for a smaller project and there was no problem getting some level of sponsorship uh, at a different level than that conference, but I, I am confident. Um, we have not uh, contacted any sponsors directly, but uh, we, we are familiar with, uh, with sponsors for uh, other, uh, other conferences, so it will probably work. Uh, how many of you have a very well integrated venue with on-site hacking, outdoors hacking, accommodation, and uh, places to give lecture all in one place? Is that possible on your uh, bid? 
and uh, also is about uh, childcare. Would you be able to provide it? Childcare, childcare. little kids, little uh, Debian developers. <laughs> The whole island will be your playground and there will be full connectivity from the whole island. I, I don't know. But we will definitely assure that the bid contains this information and has uh, this. I guess in Athens it might be more distributed. If we went to an island it would be more integrated and there will be childcare. Oh, well, the venue I'm thinking of is university, which has got two faculties, which, uh, which both, both have hosted conferences in the past, and, uh, well, they're quite close to each other, so it's, it should be quite an integrated place. Uh, and, well, there's a zoo next to the university, so if you need giraffes or, well, other animals, it's also quite close, which can, can count as childcare, uh, basically. <laughs> yeah. Are we also going to sleep at the zoo? Uh, as I mentioned previously, there's some student accommodation, so I think it should be quite, quite doable uh, without sleeping at the zoo. None of you will have to share with the lion. <laughs> so, uh, Brazilian universities doesn't doesn't usually have uh, student accommodations. So, if you're hosted on the university, we're gonna take the nearby hotels, and it's gonna be like. 200 meters, you can walk easily there. And if you host a own hotel, it's gonna be all on site. And about child care, uh, I, I, I don't remember the details of from the bids, but it's, it, it's not something hard to get. We can usually uh, ar arrange that for everyone who needs. Uh, okay, so uh, the the current plan uh, is for uh, for accommodations and uh, venue in uh, in a university. Um, about childcare, again, no no concrete no no specific plan yet. That is somewhere to worry about later. Um, and again, there there is no nothing nothing yet specific, so I can't commit to. to So I'll have to interrupt because we're, we're close to the time we have to uh, finish this session. Uh, uh, the Taiwan session will present theirs next. Of course, uh, you, you will all understand there uh, we're uh, at the early stages of planning. I've been harassing people over the week. I, I have been kicked out of several countries that really, really didn't want to be. So, uh, but uh, these four brave uh, uh, people representing each of them uh, team are seriously, even if you don't believe so, there are four, uh, four of them are seriously representing a bit and uh, well that's uh, a lot of work that they're going to do in the next uh, following months so please give, uh, give an applause to all of them.